This is a quick down and dirty tutorial on how I use Leachy Mission Hub in conjunction with VLM, which stands for Virtual Leachy Mission, and Google Earth to view what my hyperlapses are going to look like before I actually go out and fly them. So here we are in the Leachy Mission Hub. You just go to flyleachy.com slash hub, and that'll get you there. Um, log into your account. Uh, set up your waypoints and your point of interest. For this example, I've got uh, just two waypoints and my point of interest looking at this high building over here. And the way I normally film my hyperlapses is I will fly at about two miles an hour um, at a constant speed looking at a point of interest. And you can do it two different ways. You can either photograph at two second intervals or you can record uh, 4K video and then compress it when you're done. I really recommend taking photos every two seconds. Um, the files are much more manageable um, in, in the end, um, especially if you don't have a high-powered uh, computer to work with. Those uh, 4K compressed videos can get quite large for, a, uh, for such a small video clip. So again, here I have got a point of interest, or I'm sorry, a uh, waypoint at 285 feet um, above the ground. And I'm going downhill, uh, essentially descending to 104, 154 feet above the ground, uh, looking at this point of interest um, uh, up at about 200 feet above the ground. So once you have this done, Go ahead and uh, save your mission to your account. So I've gone ahead and saved mine and called this one St. Clair Street Hyperlapse. And then once you've done that, you can start the VLM program. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can go to get that program. And what you'll get is essentially what looks like just the mission hub and the in the uh, program here. So you just go to missions and then open. I gotta log in. So once you're logged in, just go to open. Go ahead and find your hyperlapse you just did. There it is again. And all we need to do is hit mission export to CSV. Once this is exported to a CSV, Google Earth uh, should open up. And here's Google Earth. One of the things it gives us over here on the side is it puts that mission in our temporary, temporary places area over under the places tab. So we can expand that and you'll see virtual mission here just double click it and what this does is it you can see it's actually barely moving very slowly um, what I normally do is at that frame rate that I told you about flying at two miles an hour taking a photo every two seconds if I f hit the fast forward button five times one two three four five I'm gonna go ahead and hit the repeat button that is about the speed that it's gonna be so just kind of a quick uh, rule of thumb. Looks like we're still loading buildings here. So that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and let this continue loading because there should be more buildings loaded here. Uh, you can see them trickling in. All right, now everything's fully loaded. So you can see, again, I'm moving kind of slow here. Let me go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. Fast forward five times. I'm going to hit the repeat button. And that's what it's going to look like.
So now, to go ahead and record this, if you want to record it to a video, all you need to do is go up here to... to oh, let me hit, hit the pause button here. Alright, so now I've got everything loaded. Go ahead and hit that play button again. And turn repeat on. And there it is. Alright, so if you want to make a video file out of this, I'm going to go ahead and just pause this. I will rewind it to the beginning. Go up here to the record a tour button. And you'll see this uh, record here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record and then play immediately after. Go ahead and let it do its thing. And then once it's done, hit the record button again. Now you'll see a little disc here at the bottom. Hit save. Oops, I hit save and we'll call this um, uh, St. Clair Street. Call it whatever you want. And then, lastly, lastly, what we need to do before we're able to save this is go ahead and close this, uh, this controller bar here. Just hit close on that. Then go up here to Tools, and then go up to Movie Maker, and then you're able to save your file. So you can change what resolution, whether it's ultra high def, um, 1080, all the way down. So we'll do that, and it's going. It looks like it's going to. You make sure you have your mission selected, for St. Clair Street, and. Should be good to go. Looks like it's going to save it to my video folder. Create folder. Oh, it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it, which I don't. Try this again. That is a different file, so. Alright. Then you'll see this toolbar pop up. It says, please wait, or dialog box pop up. It says, please wait while movie is recorded. I'll come back in just a few seconds when this is done. Well, it might be a few minutes. All right, so the video is now done. I've opened it up. It created an MP4 file. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. And looks good. So once I think I've got everything the way I like it, no, I had a little hiccup there. I can get that out and post if I want to save that. It's kind of rewinding to the beginning. So now that I'm happy with what I've got, I think I'll go out and I'll fly the mission and we will compare the results. All right, so I went out and flew. Mission went well. Um, so what I did, I comp compiled my video here and then what we recorded earlier uh, from Google Earth through VLM in the upper corner so we can compare how it actually looks. So here we go. Now I've switched, so now in the foreground we have the Google Earth view in the upper corner over here. We have the actual drone footage. And that's it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you.
Thanks a lot, guys. Please like and subscribe.